New Taipei City Mayor Eric Zhu today blasted the government's eight-year, 880 billion Taiwan dollar infrastructure plan for failing to include planned extensions to the Taipei Metro Circular Line, which, when completed, will circle Taipei. Zhu complained that only the parts of the project where construction had already begun were included in the plan. However, Premier Lin Chuan said he couldn't respond to every request ma made by local governments. And the circular line project had already seen unacceptable delays. When Premier Lin Chen arrived in the Legislative UN today for a question and answer session, legislators seized the occasion to point to funding needs for construction projects in their own towns and cities. It is regrettable that Yang Mei District and Pu Xin Township were not included in the plan, which promotes the expansion of underground railway systems, as Yang Mei District at the southern end of Taoyuan is my parliamentary seat. New Taipei City Mayor Eric Ju was even more dissatisfied. Only sections of the planned Taipei Metro Circular Line where construction had already begun were included in the eight-year plan, and other extensions to the line in planning were not included. Extensions to the Taipei Metro Circular Line in Greater Taipei, including Phase 2 construction on the Wanda Junghe Shulin Line, were not included in the so-called forward-looking infrastructure construction project. Encircling the northern and southern regions in Greater Taipei is a visionary plan plan for the future. Only including parts of these lines that are under construction or about to finish construction is not forward-looking at all. All the local governments will propose many construction projects for railway track construction, but we can't do all of them. We have to choose the ones we think we should do. As I understand it, New Taipei City has proposed we help with the three stages of construction for the Taipei Metro Circular Line. The main reason for our stance is that after construction broke ground for two of these stages, there wasn't any construction activity for a long time afterwards. These delays are unacceptable. Unwilling to give the impression that the government was squandering money with the 880 billion New Taiwan dollar infrastructure plan, government executives stressed that the many construction projects proposed by various counties and cities were scrutinised closely and strict conditions applied for receiving government funding.